what is going on Nitro Sites? It is your boy the Nitro General here and welcome back for week 5 of the NPBA against the Morgantown Morgrams and Coach Trayon. Now, before we really get into this, I do just want to give a special thanks to Trayon for picking up a team that, uh, unfortunately, one of the coaches ended up just not responding in. And uh, he kind of just goes to the league. And I really appreciate him coming to pick up the team. Um, he didn't have to. The team already was at one and one. So, but uh, luckily he has come back and, and picked up the team. So I do just want to say thank, thank you to him uh, for doing that. But uh, since he came to pick up the team, he has went undefeated. So that team is has only lost one, and that was due to a technicality forfeit loss. So yeah. Uh, I think we probably have less of a chance than last week. I, I, I really don't know. Last week I said the same thing, but he, it's a very, very scary. An extremely threatening team. Probably has one of the Pokemon I'm the most scared about, but uh, yeah. But before we get into this, if you guys are excited for this and you do want to show some support, I would really appreciate it if you guys could hit that like button down below and subscribe if you guys are new. Right, we are trying to hit 350 subscribers by the end of the year. That is my goal. I'm not sure if we will or not, but uh, if you guys do want to help me on that, journey to 350 subscribers all you guys got to do is click that like button down below subscribe if you guys are new share this video with your friends leave a like leave a comment what you thought about the battle all that good stuff too because uh that is that's that's really good part. yeah so uh yeah like i said he's got some a really threatening team but i don't really want to waste too much time so yeah uh before we get into this of course um as always there should be some timestamps somewhere on the screen right now telling you guys if you guys you just want to swap the pregame press conference and the team builder, uh, you guys can. There should be a time code on there where you can click. Uh, well, don't click unfortunately, but uh, you guys can go right to the battle from uh, from that time. Stuff, so if you just want to skip. But I recommend checking out, staying and checking out, see what his team is and what I'm bringing. So yeah. But this is his team, right? He his team consists of Iron Treads, Gilmora, Hariyama, Jumpluff, Mimikyu. Uh, Quillfish, Oinkalone, Gastrodon, Colossal, Dragonite, and Wug Trio, right? So, oh, and I did it like two weeks out of the season, but his two Terra Captains are Gilmora and Dragonite, right? Obviously, you guys saw that coming. Dragonite, Terra Normal, Dragonite's one of the biggest, if not the biggest Terra things that come out of Terra Triacelization. Like, it, it really, really is. It's insane. Dragon Ants, and then just E Speed is just it's insane. So, um, luckily for Hiriyama, uh, it, for, well, for my sake, he doesn't really have a Trick Room setter, except for Mimikyu might get Trick Room. I'm not sure. Now I'm kind of curious. I don't, I don't know if it does or not. Here, let me, let me go to Showdown and, and just see if potentially it does get Showdown. Uh, get it. Um, do you get Trick Room? I think you do, but yeah, it, it does. Okay. So it does get Trick Room, so that is something that to kind of worry about. But he really doesn't have. And the thing is, is that he can be Trick Room and then tear normal Extreme Speed Dragonite, and just totally ignore the fact that all of his slowest Pokemon go first, and Dragonite can still be buffed up with Dragon Dance and go first regardless if Trick Room is up or not, which is absolutely nuts. Um, so yeah, and obviously Hariyama is extremely scary with uh. Like the flame orb and, and stuff like that with guts. So we do have to worry about that as well. Does get access to fake out, bullet punch, um, drain punch. Uh, I do think it, it, it gets access to knock off as well. Um, a lot of just really, really good moves in general. It's a really good Pokemon. So And it hits just like a truck. So uh, yeah, and then Iron Treads obviously gets rapid spin too. Which, so spoiler alert, we are bringing Masquerade this week with webs. So this thing does get um, does get rapid sense. We don't have, do have to worry about that. It also gets stomping tantrum, earthquake. Um, gets access to knock off, iron head, um, stuff like that. So it's very fast and is definitely something that we definitely have to worry about. But we have it is a steel type, so we have a lot of Pokemon that can deal with that. Uh, Gilmora is also a Pokemon I don't believe is coming just because of our amount of fighting types that we have um, and a uh, steel type. Uh, Gilmora is, is, is cool though in the fact that it gets access to Toxic Debris so it can just set up Toxic Spikes willy nilly. It also gets access to Toxic Spikes, Stealth Rock, Spikes. So it's a very good Pokemon and hazard wise it could definitely 
be annoying because we don't really have anything to get rid of hazards this week. Just because I don't foresee him green. That's the only reason, right? And then, um, and then we have Gastrodon, which is probably the biggest threat to our team, right? Gastrodon is incredibly scary. Being able to hit a lot of us for super effect, a lot of my Pokemon. Uh, Earthquake, um, Surf, he has run, like, Surf Hariyama or Surf Dragonite just to activate Storm Drain, which is very, very scary. Um, as well as he could run Surf on Colossal and then, or Surf on Gastron 4 with Colossal to activate Steam Engine if that's what he wants to do. Uh, Gastron also gets access to, I don't think it gets access to Toxic anymore, but it does get access to Recover, Protect, um, doesn't get access to Scald, um, but uh, Hydro Pump, a lot of that stuff. So we do really, really have to worry about Gastron. I think that's probably the biggest threat here. Colossal, like I said, does get access to Steam, uh, Steam steam engine it almost it's steam eruption and it, it does not get access to steam eruption that would be insane otherwise this thing's not really that big of a threat um does get access to stone edge um overheat stealth rock to uh rapid spin as well so uh, otherwise I, I don't know. he does have a lot of pokemon to get rid of hazards but we're still going to try to at least try to set him up just because i think a lot of his hazard centers are not coming dragonite obviously like i said e-speed Dragon Ants, E-Speed, Terra Normal. That's just the biggest thing. Also gets access to, like, Ice Punch, Fire Punch, um, Dragon Claw, Outrage, Earthquake, Surf, like I said. So, yeah. Uh, Oikalone, honestly, is a little bit more of a threat than I thought it would be. Uh, last week, he actually brought Banded Oikalone, um, which is kind of nasty. Uh, this thing does get access to Stuffed Cheeks. Um... Other than that, I don't really know what this thing does. Besides, like, Stuffed Cheeks, uh, Body Press, Take Down, Double Edge, potentially. Um, but, yeah, I don't... Like I said, Stomping Cantrum, I know. Uh, like I said, don't really know what other things this does. Uh, Wub Trio is, is not super scary. It is insanely faster than I thought it was, and outspeeds our entire team. Uh, so, this thing, obviously, Triple Dive... But other than that, it's really not that big of a threat. So, uh, Quillfish obviously gets access to Toxic Spikes, um, regular Spikes. Um, gets access to Waterfall, Poison Jab, stuff like that. I've used Quillfish before. I know how nasty it can be. Once Galarian Quillfish comes out and you can run Eviolite, I think that's going to be a, an insane Pokemon. Mimikyu, I think, is probably coming. The fact that it gets Trick Room, it gets Shadow Claw, um, it gets Disguise, is busted. Um... <laughs> get it yeah this guy the disguise is busted no disguise as an ability is actually busted uh get shadow claw get sword stance shadow sneak um play rough drain punch um it's just an insane pokemon and then jump Luff, right jump Luff. other than the fact that it can it can tailwind um it can leech seed it can uh i believe it gets helping hand um it does get access to sleep powder stun spore so yeah, I mean, honestly, it's a little bit bigger of a threat. And if it doesn't run an item, it does get access to acrobatics as well. So, uh, yeah, if I had to pick a six Pokemon, six Pokemon, I think he's gonna bring. I'm gonna say Hariyama, Jumpluff, uh, Mimikyu, Iron Treads, Gastrodon, and uh, uh, Dragonite. I guess maybe he could bring Oinkalone over over Jumpluff as well. I don't foresee him bringing Gilmora just because of our matchup against it. Same with um, Colossal because it's so slow. I don't foresee him bringing Quillfish either just because Quillfish or um, Wugtrio just because of Raichu. Um, and the fact that he doesn't really hit too much of our Pokemon for super effective since we don't really have a ground or a fire type. Or a, well I guess we do have a rock type but still. Um, I don't foresee him bringing those in general. But yeah. So that's his team. We're going to get into the team that I'm bringing. Alright guys, so this is the team that I'm bringing against uh, the Morgantown Morgrams and Coach Trant for week 5 of the NPBA. It's a very similar team to what I've been bringing. I think I think pretty much every week Swordsmaster, Flare, and Lily have come, which makes me a little bit, uh, a little bit, you know, predictable, but in the sense that, like, they're just so good in general. So we are running Swordsmaster again with uh, Life Orb, Court Drive. Life Orb, I think, is better than Booster Energy in, in Draft. With Drain Punch, Destiny Bond, Spirit Break, and Terra Blast, right? And we are Terra Grass. 
Terracrash strictly and only for Gashinon, right? That's the thing. I guess technically it hits um, Iron Treads to... Well, no, it's, it's resisted. So it's neutral against Iron Treads and Grimoire. So really, it's only for Gashinon. And I don't think he'll see it coming. So the only reason why we would do this in general is if we, you know, try to catch him off guard. As well as the fact that, like, um, it'll no, will no longer be super effective to, like, um, like Hariyama's like bullet point. Well, you know what? Never mind. You know, I, I'm I'm just gonna shut up before I start talking out my ass here. Um, yeah, Terra Grass is only for Gastron if we can catch it a super effective. I think tearing on Flare is gonna be better in this situation in general, but I think Terra Grass is better. So, um, but we have Drain Punch. Drain Punch hits Gilmora. Hits um, Iron Treads. Hits Oink alone. Hits. Um, Colossal hits Terra Normal uh, Dragonite. It's it's insane, right? Spirit Break hits Hariyama. Um, it hits uh, Dragonite Unterra as well. So um, also lowers their attack. So that's good. Um, Destiny Bond. I, it is attack, right? Yeah, oh, special attack. Destiny Bond again. Have not had this thing coming in, in useful yet, but because this thing also feeds a lot of his team. Uh, if we could set up a, a Destiny Bond, that, that might be cool. But I think Drain Punch is what we're going to be clicking 90% of the time. Or Terra Blast if we do go in front of Gash. So, uh, yeah. And then we have Drobit here with the leftover Serene Grace. With uh, Actually, I probably could have not run Serene Grace. Well, I guess we'll run uh, in the 30. Okay, yeah. I guess we'll run Serene Grace. But, uh, so, Coil, uh, Hyper Drill, Drill Run, Poison Jab with leftovers. I think he's just really good. Uh, Drobit, in, in general, is just... Uh, Dunsparce is, is honestly, it's gotta be the most underrated Pokemon, in my opinion, in this generation. Uh, it's insanely bulky, and honestly, a base 100 attack stat is really, really good. And granted, this is not the Dun Dunsparce Evo that we all wanted, but I think the Coil Hyper Drill set is just really, really good in general. Don't have to worry about Protect, nothing. Drill Run is there for Gamora, is also there for, um, Iron Treads hits Quillfish as well, even though we're gonna be hitting Quillfish with Hyper Drill, yeah. But, uh, Drill Run helps us hit... Gilmora and Iron Treads because Iron Treads obviously resists. And then we also do have Poison Jab. Poison Jab basically just there for Jump Bluff and Mimikyu. Um, I feel like the fact that he does, he could have Drain Punch on Mimikyu, but there is the fact that we could just have catch him off guard and just Poison Jab. As well as like Serene Grace, what is it? Does it double it? Yeah, so there's a 60% chance of getting a Poison with Poison Jab. So we could even just hit anything with that and get a 60% chance of the poison, which is just really cool. Max HP, max attack, remaining foreign speed with an enemy nature, right? That's pretty much what I've been doing uh, with, with this thing this season. I almost brought my, my boss stiff over and drove it, but I feel like the fact that he has, like, Hariyama, um, I just don't feel like it was going to be that good. We, he, we do have, like, it would have been a good Intimidator, for the fact that he has a lot of Pokemon, but I think having a more bulky Pokemon to be able to just come in is just really good. And Hariyama hits both of these for super effective as well. So this was just a an executive decision on my part. Hopefully it doesn't come playing. Uh, then we got Flare, the Slitherwing with Silver Powder this week. Protosynthesis, close combat, first impression, morning sun, and world of west. Uh, with an adamant nature, max attacks, max HP, main force. So we're running Silver Powder this week instead of Choice Band with Terra Bug because I think Terra Bug first impression with Silver Powder is insane. Of course, Choice Band is better, but I think being able to Terra um, first impression and then just be able to close combat in Morning Sun over is, is better, right? It's just better in general because close combat hits again Gilmora, Oink Alone, uh, Iron Treads, Colossal, Terra Normal, Dragonite. Like it hits everything. And first impression. He does not have very much on his on his team that resists the first impression in general. Only a couple Pokemon, right? Iron Treads, Colossal. Um, that's pretty much it. So really nothing else does. And that first impression is able to hit a lot of stuff on his team for just really, really hard. And then Morning Sun we can use if we need to recover up. And Will the Wisp is there to nice to uh, to burn uh, burn Mimikyu, to burn Oikalone, a Dragonite. Uh, Iron Treads, uh, Hariyama doesn't really matter because it's just gonna get the Guts boost if it is Guts, which it probably is. So, but, uh, yeah. Next one up is we do have Lily, with Lily? No, Willy with Choice Band, uh, Zero to Hero, Jet Punch, Wave Crash, Close Combat, Nice Punch. I think it's the same set that we ran last week. Um, uh, Max HP, Max Attack, with Remaining Foreign Speed. We're running more of a, uh, a 
bulky set instead of a fast set this week because we really don't need the fast set since this. Uh, but I, I really feel like he has to bring Gastrodon for Willy. But if I can catch, like, um, cause Close Combat is just going to do a lot with, with Choice Band as well. But um, I feel like maybe he'll think I won't bring it just because of that. But uh, Jet Punch and Wave Crash just hit everything. Again, go unresisted on his entire team, except for um, Quillfish, Wug Trio, and Gastron. That's literally it. So it's like, and Jump Bluff, but Jump Bluff is not really that bulky, so we're still going to be doing a lot. We have Ice Punch for Jump Bluff, as well as for Unterra Dragonite. Um, then Close Combat for, again, I think Close Combat is better, Close Combat's better than Drain Punch this, this week, so. Uh, but yeah. Then we have Majora, who again I really need, I really think that Sticky Web and Tailwind were going to be better with Focus Sash, Intimidate, um, uh, Giga Drain, and Chilling Water. Right? Sticky Web I think is just is just really nice in general. Um, if I like I said I don't believe he'll bring Gilmora or uh, or um, Colossal, so those are out of the water. Then he has Defog on. No, he does not have Defog on, on Dragonite anymore. Rapid Spin on Iron Treads. Right? That's the only one. Uh, Giga Drain is there for Gastrodon, just in general. I think that's just the best thing to have. Uh, and the Tailwind is also there, so if he does get rid of it, or if we just want to set up a Tailwind in general, we can. Uh, and Chilling Water is, is there, because I think that's really good against, like, Colossal, if he does decide to bring that. Um, catch that off guard, as well as hitting Iron Head. Iron Heads, Iron Treads for super effective, but I don't know if he will. We are running a max special attack, max speed with the tip of nature this week uh, with a mating 4 and HP. Honestly, this thing doesn't need to be super offensive. It just needs to be able to set up a, a sticky web and maybe a tailwind and then, then go to the uh, And then the last one we were bringing is our boy Malik, the Gengar with choice specs, curse body, focus blast, sludge bomb, energy bomb, and destiny bomb. Right? So max special attack, max speed with a modest nature, mating 4 This thing outspeeds a lot of his team. Focus Blast, of course, hits a lot of his team for super effective. Sludge Bomb hits um, Mimikyu and Jump Bluff. Um, Energy Ball hits Gastrodon, as well as if we want to come back in and click Destiny Bond, we can. I think Choice Specs is better this week, just because I want to be able to. I want this thing to be as offensive as possible we can, and this is like almost a 500 attack stat. So Gengar, you you really need to put in some work this week. You definitely have helped me out quite a bit this season, so hopefully it does. But. That is the team we are bringing, and uh, yeah, not really much to say, but I guess I'll see you guys in the video, or in the battle. Okay, so here we are in the battle against, uh, our week 5 battle, against uh, Treya. Uh, I can't remember what his team name is, I know I said it earlier in the video, but uh, unfortunately I'm recording this battle after I did the team builder and stuff, so I can't remember what his team name is, I do apologize Treya. But uh, again, thanks to him, thank you to him, a big thank you to him for uh, you know picking up a spot the season after uh, a team dropped out so but he is uh he has went undefeated this season uh he is he has lost one battle but that was only a forfeit win because the team that he picked up didn't respond to their coach so they had to get a forfeit win that that week before he joined so unfortunately he is uh, undefeated which is not great for us this is going to be an uphill battle. Last week, I said the same thing, and we still pulled off a win. So, we're going to try our best, but uh, if we end this this week at 4-1, it, it is what it is. But I'm really hoping we can pick up we can pick up another win in, in B5-0. Because we haven't been... We haven't done this well since Season 2. So, but uh, yeah, we're going to wait for him to challenge me, and then we'll get right into it. Okay, well, here is here is the challenge. <laughs> as Right as I say that, okay. We're going to... Put it in gen. Okay, so we gotta do. Gotta change the the six v six doubles draft. Oh god, where is that? Over here. Cool. All right. And here we go. All right. So he does bring the Gastrodon. I mean, obviously that's what I thought he did. He does bring the Dragonite. Hariyama Jump Pluff. Oinkalone is ha has been banded, so we do have to worry about that. And then the Iron Treads. So he says, "Good luck. Have have fun." Unfortunately, I can't talk right now in, in, in chat because Showdown muted me. So we're going to go here and we're going to post this in the Discord, the the live link. And uh, I'll say, okay, and then let's just, all right, let's see. 
All right. Okay, so obviously I think Majora has to come out here, Masquerine. And then I almost just want to go into Palafin and then just have, be able to... Because uh, I'm really nervous about Jump Luff. Like, I, I, I'm not going to lie. So maybe Slitherwing was actually the better bet here. Let's let's actually do that. So he's going to lead Hariyama and and, uh, and Gashinon, which honestly is not great for either of us. I'm going to Sticky Web. He does have able to... To, to get that away with, with Iron Treads. And then I think... God, I don't I don't know what he, he wants to do here. He, he might just fake out. So I could just... I almost want to just tear a bug, because we are tear a grass here. Uh, which is, is pretty good against some of these Pokemon. Well, really only this one. So if I just tear a bug and then first impression... Is that is that bad? I think I think we do, right? I, I'm silver powder. I think I do. We're gonna tear a bug first impression. He's gonna fake out. I figured that's what was gonna happen. Come on! Ah! Oh! And then what? Is he gonna he's gonna yawn? He's gonna yawn on me here. I still think our best bet is the sticky whip. And um it's gonna make me drowsy. <sighs> Maybe Gengar is the best play here. To go out to possibly that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go into that on, on like what I assume is a fighting type move there's surf so I'm just, oh man he used that before he really did oh okay but surf has been disabled and I, there's icy wind so I'm gonna giga drain on the yellow pea here and we are going to Or maybe do I do I save you? He's gonna go. Oh, I don't really I don't really know if I want to go Palafin though, like right away. Because if he goes for a fighting type move, like he could have knockoff on this too. Um, two twelve. We still out speed. Ah oh, man, I feel like. I don't want to lose. Do I really need Masquerade though? Now that we have this up, okay, 342. We're not gonna outspeed at, like at all, anyways, right? So now if I just Tailwind up and then, oh, do I want to throw this though? I, I, I'm, I'm going to. No! Ah, oh, that's. Yep. I knew it. I, I knew it. I called it, bro. I even said it right away. All right. All right, I'm gonna Giga Drain on the Yellow Pea then here, and I'm just gonna Spirit Break on the Rubber Hands. I'm a little irritated right now. Uh, we have a Tailwind up, we have Sticky Web up. We're gonna be out speeding. I have to hope that he stays it. Okay, he does, and then we get we get the special attack drop, and then give me come on, yes, phew. Okay, so Masquerade is gone, and he whirlwinds me out into Palafin, which is fine because now okay, okay. All right, so basically I'm not too worried now. Gengar's gone, which kind of really sucks. There's the Oinkalon. Um, I'm going to, I'm gonna Giga Drain on the, or do I, Chilling Water. Um, hmm. um, maybe, I, I think I just, I don't know. I'm a little nervous that that won't KO. That's that's what I'm thinking of. I'm going to I'm gonna Giga Drain on the rubber hands here, and then ah oh God, I don't want to lose Palafin here. I think I gotta go into the Dunsparce. <clears throat> I feel like Orncalone might. I don't even know what it wants to go for here. Okay, so we get we do get a Giga Drain off on the Dawn Fan, so that's not great. But I think now he's going. He he he's one hundred percent. All right, yeah, we're going to uh, actually. How much? How much did that do? Sixteen percent. I could Giga Drain again and then get back my my Focus Sash. Uh, I think we Chilling Water on it. 
to be honest. And because I'm afraid of it, it, it rapid spinning me. And if would it would it be would it be a throw to just sticky web again? I chilling water. I'm, I'm just gonna chilling water, and we're gonna coil here. He out. He definitely outspeeds. Okay, let me see. He's gonna lower his attack too, which is good. Coils. He he's a slow dawn fan. Then he he earthquakes. He earthquakes. Okay. Um, I'm gonna tail one again here. And uh, I think I kind of want to hyper drill on the mailman. I'm not gonna lie because the dawn fan I feel like is not a, that big of a threat. He's gonna tear a normal a s extreme speed. All right, we don't. Okay, that's not a lot of damage here. I can actually do this though. And first impression on the mailman here, and then we drill run on the Dawn Fan. Dawn Fan at home. Uh, we're not we're not in a fantastic position here. I, I will automatically say that. Um, the hit, the jump luff in the back is. I, I'm I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little nervous of Oink alone because if that's banded. Okay, so he does sack the Hariyama here, and then body press is not gonna do a lot. How much are we doing now? Yes, we get rid of the we get rid of the iron treads, which is big. This is big, big. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, the dun spars, man. The dun spars, man. I I I I am very nervous about this. I, I legitimately am. Okay, there's the yeah. Okay, so I have to switch out here. Uh, do I switch right out into Palafin? On what I am assuming is a grass type move, I think I do. And then I could poison jab, or I just hyper drill. I think we just hyper drill. I think I think that is. I think that's the play. I'm a little nervous that this might be a throw. Ooh. Oh, okay. Um. Okay, that takes that down. All right. So I I 100% take out the Jigglypuff here, and then. Uh, I think I coil again. Honestly. Because the mailman is only going to be able to do so much to us. And if we coil up and get our defenses up. Okay, this is really good. This is really good. This is actually phenomenal here. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, let's 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 get it, bro. Okay. Oh, should I save? No, I don't. I jet punch on the Oink Minaj here. And I think if I just double on, on the Oink alone here. If I just double on the Oink alone, I think we get the KO. I don't see it for a reason that we wouldn't. Okay. Boom! I think we win! I think we win! I think we win. Just because for for sake here, I'm gonna go to Iron Valiant. And yeah, he said GG. Uh to to just conserve um Conserve it here. Actually, I don't think we I don't think we can. I'm gonna Destiny Bond. <laughs> this, one way or another this is working this this season. Actually, yeah. Actually, yeah. We'll we'll just drain punch, e speed, and then <laughs> and then boom, hyper choke gets the KO, and we are five zero, baby, five zero. The done spars, my guy. The done spars, the done spars. Oh my God, the most slept on Pokemon in this generation, in my opinion. Oh my God, the. The coil the Dunsparce never seeks to amaze me. It just seems to come in here and just hit very hard. Ah, oh, we were so prepared for that Gastrodon, but honestly, Master Rain put in quite a bit of uh put in quite a bit of work here too. With the Giga Drain getting the KO and stuff on the on the Gastrodon. Oh, uh, and we still ended this at a 3-0 with the Dunsparce, Palafin, and Slitherwing all standing. Ah let's get it, bro. Uphill battle. Uphill battle, my guy. Undefeated this season, guys. Come on. Undefeated. Week 5, and we are 5-0. and oh. We have two more weeks, and we could go an undefeated season. Ugh. I'm, I'm very, I'm very happy. I'm very happy about this. We're going to download the replay, uh, and grab the... I'm actually very, very happy about this here. We did very good in this in this battle. Um, <clears throat> I'm very excited. 5-0, guys. 
We've 100% made playoffs. Like, we can't lose. We could lose 6-0 in both of these next two battles, and we still we still get playoff. So, I, I will say I, I'm very I'm very happy. I'm very happy. This is it's been a very great season for us. I've been doing a lot better than I thought. So, yeah. If you guys did enjoy this, make sure you let me know by hitting that like button down below and subscribing if you guys are new. All that good stuff. But, without further ado, that's going to be it for me. So, like I say at the end of every video, I am the Nitro General. I really hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you in the next one. Nitro General's out. Peace.